Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about connecting Raspberry Pi via VNC from Windows 10 operating system. Once again, this video is part of part 6. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so for that, I'm going to flip to our PuTTY client. So in the last video, we were installing our tight VNC server package and xrdp package and also we created the tight vnc.desktop file within our auto start folder right so now let's try to connect our raspberry pi using the vnc client so the vnc client is actually a free downloadable you can directly download this so i'm just going to go to the google and i'm going to search for vnc and you can see there is something called realvnc.com you can use either real vnc or ultra vnc or tight vnc client i use both ultra vnc as well as the real vnc so for now we are going to download this real vnc you can just download the real vnc client for windows and you can install it i have already installed the vnc client in my machine so i'm just going to minimize this and i'm going to open the vnc viewer right now and you can see that I am going to connect to the VNC server using this particular IP address 192.168.0.8 and if I try to connect this this will show you a message saying the connection was refused by the host computer. The reason is because the particular VNC server is not running in our Raspberry Pi right now. So for doing that first of all you need to run the service called VNC server in our Raspberry Pi. So if I go to our PuTTY and then if I type VNC server and hit enter, you can see that it will start running the VNC server in our Raspberry Pi. And you can see that it has something called kk-desktop colon 2, meaning it is running the second desktop of our VNC server within Raspberry Pi. And now if I just type 192.168.0.8 colon 2, and then if I click connect, it says a message saying the connection to this VNC server will not be encrypted. So it's still okay. I'm just going to ignore this and I'm going to hit continue. And it will ask you for the password. So once again, the password is nothing but our admin123 that we gave in our last video. So I'm just going to type admin123 and I'm going to hit enter. So you can see that this time it's connecting me to this particular Raspberry Pi operating systems desktop. And I'm going to hit close. There we go. It's kind of a little slow and you can see there will be a window. Actually, this is kind of bug with the Ubuntu Mate if I connect two sessions steam seamlessly from my remote desktop. So if I close this and if I try to connect the VNC server with not the two, but the first desktop and hit connect and continue. Same password. You can see that the box will be gone. And the reason is because if you connect two desktops seamlessly, it's kind of uh, showing you a message there. All right. I think the color is not that good. Yep. Now it is okay. It's kind of slow, not much uh, faster. And you can ignore this message. And you can see you can just go to the open terminal. And here you can just do ls. You can see the hidden folders. And then you can do ls and you can see all the folders which are we created. Just do nano and tst one dot text. Hit enter. You can see the file that we created. Cool. I'm going to close this terminal. And you can go to this KK's home folder. You can see you can access the folders just like you're accessing the Raspberry Pi in a real machine. It's kind of fast, not so bad. So all the folders which are recreated in the desktop from the PuTTY so far is now available right here. And now you can also see that you have different applications to access with and play around with like accessories, educations, games, and you have the Firefox browser as well. You can just open that and you can browse around with Firefox browser. Let's type Google and Hit enter. Hmm, kind of slow because we already have something here. Let's type selenium and search. You can see that it is searching for the selenium here, which is pretty fast. Let's type execute automation. 
all right and i think that's kind of very very fast than just typing the google on the browser so yep so this is how you can actually perform the operation uh, with your raspberry pi by connecting to a remote desktop and perform the operation using vnc so this is kind of very very fast but uh, i would recommend you uh, not to use VNC viewer a lot because uh, this is actually a Raspberry Pi. This is not kind of a real machine where you can do a lot of load to your uh, small, tiny little device and you can easily heat up that device if you don't really have a heat sink. So I would recommend you to uh, just use the putty and perform the operation on the command line, which will also f make you feel like you are working as a power user. Right, so this is just a kind of way that you can connect to your Raspberry Pi using VNC server and you can see the graphical user interface from your Windows 10 operating system more like you are connecting a remote desktop machine using Windows RDP. So this is how you can connect your remote Raspberry Pi using VNC client. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.